G'day, it's Jerry here from thefogwatch.com. Uh, what I have spread out in front of me here are all the things I intend to take with me on the Camino de Santiago. So we're really getting the packing refined down fairly well by now. First of all, from a tech point of view, yes, this is a selfie stick, but the great thing about this is it's also a remote for the iPhone. It's, it's good for taking videos and it's good for setting the thing up in a, in a way that uh, I can then operate it remotely. I'll come to the tech stuff uh, in a minute. First of all, the pack. The pack here is an Osprey Atmos 50. Now some say this is gonna be like a really huge bag, but the thing is if you're trying to scrabble around for stuff, it pays to have a bit of space around your gear so that you can actually reach things that are uh, down near the bottom. The other thing I like about this is there's two compartments. You, you can actually um, separate off the top from the bottom part so you can have the stuff that you need to get to that's light like the sleeping bag, you know, nice and quickly without disturbing everything else in the pack. Some other wonderful features of this. I mean, it's hugely adjustable and that's a real bonus. So that's the backpack, probably more on that in another video. Let's start over on this side. Yes, I will be taking walking poles. I'm still in two minds as to whether to actually take these with me or whether to just get some when I get to, um, to Europe. But we'll see how we go with that anyway. Um, but these are, these are a fairly solid, basic, cheap um, pole from Kathmandu. Uh, boots, scarpers and merrells. The, the main thing here is that I've got a change of footwear. And if the terrain gets particularly you know, rough or nasty, I can wear the boots. These are also waterproof Gore-Tex. They're not hugely heavy as walking boots go, but of course they are uh, not insignificant in their own way. The Merrells, much lighter, good for quite, quite standard sort of just normal track terrain. I'm told that it rains a lot in Galicia. So I have a raincoat, well, rain jacket with a hood and waterproof trousers. Between that, those two things and the, uh, the boots should keep me fairly dry in uh, pretty much any conditions. Two pairs of lightweight hiking pants. These don't zip off. Uh, trust me, you don't want to see my knees anyway, but um, they're quite light, they're quick dry, and they're, they're great lightweight pants. Three merino base layers. Again, they're light. I'm not a great one for walking in t-shirts mainly because I burn like, I don't know, a demon in the midday sun. <laughs> so, so I tend to prefer a long sleeve. Uh, I can always pull the sleeve up and it's, it, you know, it's just as good as a t-shirt. Being merino, uh, they don't uh, keep the moisture in. Uh, they allow airflow through, uh, but they also importantly uh, will keep me warm uh, at nights as well if the nights get cold. Uh, socks, now I've become a great fan of double socking. So I've got six pairs of socks and basically I'll be um, wearing those one inside the other, rotating about. Three pairs of quick dry mesh uh, undies, hankies, because I'm allergic to everything on the planet, and a, um, a fleece. I like these ones because they have a zip pocket, which means I can reach my glasses when I need to go and read something, and it means I don't have to go fishing around somewhere else for my glasses. All right, so to the next part, which will be looking after the pack. So this is a waterproof cover for the backpack itself. Small, lightweight, pack a backpack uh, thing, which will be handy for if you need to go shopping and that sort of stuff to, uh, to get those necessities of life at the supermarket or if you're taking some stuff to a laundromat, um, great things there. Uh, similarly, these little roll-up dry packs, they We'll keep anything dry uh, in there and then you just roll over the top and you clip it closed and you've got yourself a handy little bag. A sleeping bag liner. This is a silk liner. It's a bit more expensive than most of them, but I, uh, you know, they're a lot more comfortable. This is technically also a sleeping bag liner. It is down filled, weighs half a kilo, so it is it packs small, it's very, very light, and it's terrific. I have used this already, and it's, it's amazing. Okay, moving along to uh, the medical stuff. 
a blister medic uh, pouch. It's got some moleskin stuff in it. It's got alcohol wipes and all that sort of stuff uh, for blisters. So far, touch wood, I haven't had any blisters with my boots or my shoes, but you never know. As things go on, we'll see how we go. In case of pain, uh, Panadol, uh, Nurofen and Claritine. Now, there's a trick with Claritine because um, I, I do get hay fever and stuff like that. So, And the other thing is I found a little tip here. My tip is in your wallet, just cut one of the cards of those things in half and you've always got them with you. This by the way, is an RFID blocking wallet uh, with the new technology of the cards. It's now become easier for some people to, to skim the cards uh, and to take your money without you even realizing. So that's one way in which people can do it. Uh, and this is one way you can prevent it. This is a pack safe wallet. So it's got a Faraday cage built into the outside of it, which stops any radio frequency stuff. It also has I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a chain that I can then hook to my belt hook. And that means that if somebody decides they want to lift it, they're actually going to find very quickly that it's, it's attached to me uh, and I will be very aware of it. So it's a deterrent more than anything. Uh, it won't stop the absolute determined um, thief, but there are pickpockets uh, and we will be going to places like London and Paris um, where such people operate at times. Lush uh, has come up with an amazing thing. These little little tablety things are actually toothpaste. So they're solid little pills of toothpaste and they're lighter in fact than the paste itself. There's a hundred in a pack. They're, you know, they are really lightweight. Again, people on the various forums have talked about Lush shampoo. Little workers, uh, both as a soap and, uh, and to um, wash the clothes. I have a magnifier because in the last resort, if I lose my glasses or they break, I do actually, I, I'm still able to read uh, text because I'm quite long sighted and I find it really hard to um, get my arms long enough to, uh, to read stuff. Some uh, RID, which is an insect repellent. This contains DEET and that's a, um, uh, that's a pretty good insect repellent. SPF 30 plus sun cream and some talcum powder uh, to, to make sure that the feet are absolutely dry. Um, whenever possible. Some tissues and a handy little shovel uh, to do one's business should an emergency arise. I'm hoping I won't have to use this, but I'm carrying it anyway. And a little thing of tissues. We'll also be taking um, probably a, a half a roll each of toilet paper because again, some places don't necessarily have the toilet paper. I don't know if I'm gonna need a knife, fork and spoon, but it's there, they're light, they're plastic, um, and that's easy. Nail clippers, now these are uh, ginormous nail clippers. They do weigh a little bit more than normal ones, but then uh, I've got kind of dinosaur nails um, and they do take something with industrial strength to, uh, to cut them. A toothbrush and uh, earplugs. And just a warning to anyone who's communoing along with me, I do snore. So I'm gonna be one of those culprits for which you will need earplugs. Also, some, uh, there's a tiny little travel thing of dental floss. The dental floss is great, not just for your teeth, but uh, it's also a really strong thread so, uh, and a waterproof thread. So if you, um, if you tear something, you can actually use that to stitch with. Hand sanitizer. I'll probably pick some up while I'm there rather than carry it uh, over there. I won't be taking clothes pegs, but I will be taking safety pins. These are large safety pins sort of thing that uh, people in times past would have used for nappies or diapers, uh, however you translate that into your language. But uh, they're actually great for hanging things on the line so they don't blow away. They're also handy for instant repairs of things uh, or to just hook things up. Little RFID blocking pouch that will go uh, inside the clothing um, to protect passports and stuff like that. So they're those things that uh, you really do not want to lose. Uh, this beanie uh, is absolutely fantastic from New Zealand and it's a possum and merino uh, combination. It is light as a feather and it is warm. In fact, so warm that uh, in winter time in Canberra, we were walking uh, and the frost was actually forming on top of the beanie uh, as I walked and yet my head was perfectly warm. So just in case, I'm not saying I'm going to need it because the time of year is probably not going to warrant it, but we'll see.
um, I think it's worth carrying just in case. A towel, a microfiber towel, um, you know, reasonably quick drying uh, and all that sort of thing with a little mesh um, thing to carry it in. And a peaked cap. This peaked cap will keep the, the sun off my neck as well. Uh, water bottle. Now, I understand that the water is quite drinkable, uh, but um, you never know there could be sen uh, sediment and that sort of thing. This is actually just a really cheap charcoal filter bottle. It won't kill bacteria, so if, you've got, if, you're, if you're worried about that, uh, then you'll need something more like a life straw. But this really is going to be the thing for me, and, uh, and it should filter out most, most bad tastes. And uh, it's also going to be great in places where there's hard water, such as London, for example, and you want a really good cup of coffee, you, this thing you can squeeze out uh, some water. You can fill up other water bottles as well. Um, it's just a, a great little thing, and it's super light. Coming to my Briley's, I'm still in two minds as to whether to take this with me because I do have in my tech stuff here a little iPad, and why would I take technology with me now? Here's an interesting one. Okay, for a start, this weighs about as much as this, and I've got about 20 books uh, in there. I've also got all the software for editing photos. I've got my uh, you know, web stuff that I can uh, do. I, I'll be able to maintain blogging. I'll be able to edit videos on the fly and all that sort of thing, and it's a damn sight lighter than a laptop. Uh, so I will be taking the iPad and this little device here, uh, which is just a pluggy thing, for putting an SD card from the camera into um, the iPad so that I can take photos from here. Now, I, I do take photos. I am a photographer, so I've seen a lot of great photos on the Camino and a lot of great photos that are taken with phones. And sure, I will be taking my phone, which is what I'm filming this on at the moment. But phones do not do low light very well. Uh, one thing this camera does to Canon 80D it does do low light really well. It handles it with relatively little noise. It's lighter than my previous SLR camera, but I am quite serious about taking uh, good photos along the way. So this is my one concession to, <coughs> to weight. It does weigh 1.2 kilos, so it is probably the single heaviest item I will be carrying. The other uh, part of that, though, is that the, the camera bag that I have, which normally sits on a belt around my hip, actually goes on the waist band of the of the backpack so all the weight is carried on the hips and, and there's very little weight actually on the shoulders which is great for me spare battery this little pouch here takes the lapel mic so that you don't get you know, a lot of wind noise and that sort of thing i tested this out on the nullarbor works great so there's a remote for uh, activating the camera what's the point of having a camera like that and you want to take long exposure photos uh, and then you have a problem because you don't have a tripod. I thought long and hard about a tripod, believe me. But then I have printed uh, a mount for the camera. So this goes on the camera like so. And then I can take off the rubber ends from the walking poles and I have a tripod for the camera. So I can take long exposure photos in knowing that it's going to be securely held with an extremely lightweight tripod solution and it means I don't have to carry three quarters of a kilo worth or a kilo of, of tripod. It's very sturdy, I've used it and it's, it's great. What it does, uh, the only thing I haven't done here uh, is put a ball top uh, on the top because the actual camera mount was going to be heavier uh, just about than everything else put together. So. So just this, it's quite sufficient to be able to do what I need to do um, for that. Um, for storage, I've got a wireless My Passport hard drive. So this is a little hard drive. It means I can take photos from the phone or from the camera, wirelessly transmit them onto here, or I can put an SD card straight into the side of this, and it will copy those photos straight onto the hard drive that means i have safe secure storage and it means i'll be able to clean out my my sd cards as i go a couple of spare cards charger for the camera this is a very very cheap it's like six bucks worth of portable charger for usb devices it takes four 
AA batteries which are available just about anywhere so you don't have to necessarily find a charging point you can just buy some batteries if you're running short and it's an emergency and you really need to get your phone charged because you need to call somebody then that's the way to go when we do have access to power there'll be this little charger thing it has two USB um, slots in it so you're not taking up and hogging a whole bunch of, of power points uh, just one power point one multi-country connector so the, that will go on to whatever country power supply uh, then this will just uh, plug into that it looks a bit cumbersome it's quite light and I'll tell you what this has saved me so many times in so many countries uh, because it's literally all countries in one you don't have to carry a whole supply of different plugs for different countries USB card right okay charges for that a couple of cables um, this here uh, is a tiny little torch uh, it's solar powered so it'll charge up as we go during the day it's just one of those handy things if you're rummaging in a pack uh, you can um, you do that without disturbing everybody else small headlight this is a little LED headlight it's this one's a cheapy I'll probably get a, a good hikers one for the actual trip itself spare glasses my rock because it is the Camino de Santiago uh, and my father's rosary um, because I I um, think that's kind of special and I want to take take him along with me. So that's really about it uh, in terms of the, the gear that I'm going to be taking. The whole lot, minus the boots and shoes <coughs> and minus the poles, because they don't go in the pack necessarily, comes to just over 8 kilograms. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be walking with. Have I left anything out? I left a little notebook and a pen out. Um, so I've got that and a Swiss Army knife because, well... Some countries may not have uh, screw tops for their wine bottles, uh, so it's always handy to have a corkscrew uh, with you. So that's that. Um, iPhone 6 is coming with me. Um, it's got a great camera on it. That's what you're watching at the moment on video. And a long extension cord uh, for the lapel mic so that um, it doesn't sound like a huge echoey room. For me, this is a fairly minimalist pack. Those who know me previously know that I'm prone to overpack like crazy. I think I've got this down about as small as I can. Um, it all fits into the backpack with room to spare uh, and it's actually really comfortable to wear. So uh, the other thing that I've left out is a sewing kit. Again, it's part of the blister uh, treatment uh, regime. Um, that's about it. Leave comments in the comments thing below. So cheers for now.